oh we have this pretty distressing video this is courtesy of um asian dawn four it says warning violence and blood a person violently beats up a and um, punches an asian male in the head repeatedly in the manhattan bone train um chokes him afterwards until he's unconscious be on the lookout for this person so when this video first went viral no one really had any sort of real knowledge of the situation allegedly the person that's getting beaten up um said the n-word to the black gentleman that's obviously doing the pummeling and that kind of justified it in some people's eyes then it was a whole asian hate thing because allegedly people thought the guy was asian then it got revealed he might have been hispanic but either way the crux of the situation um I think the lesson to be learned from this in general, similar to the lesson that should be learned from the video clip of that kid in the, you know, bar, toilet area somewhere, picking on a couple of MMA guys and then both of them getting absolutely smashed, one of them having their orbital bone completely shattered. The fact of the matter is we should be in a position or situation in life, especially with MMA, especially just how the world, how the world is at the moment and places and how tense people feel for some regard, right, in terms of their futures and politics and the world, whatever it may be, everyone's kind of a bit tense at the moment. Maybe it's just a virus, whatever, something's going on in the atmosphere out there. We should be in a position or we should be in a place where we should maybe discourage everybody, most people, from getting into any sort of physical altercation with strangers because people are very highly strung. It seems like people are willing and able to turn and flip and go crazy at a moment's notice. And especially with the, again, like the advent and the popularity of stuff like the UFC, um, it just makes no sense why people would want to um, annoy somebody to the point where they'd want to get into a physical altercation or just involve themselves in anything that would confront would involve a confrontation in the first place the first rule of any sort of thing should be for you just to walk away um, you have no idea what that person's like you have no idea what they've been through you have no idea what they're capable of so to constantly put yourself in harm's way just because somebody said something to you you don't like or they stepped on your trainer or they made a weird look towards you whatever it may be it just isn't worth it nowadays the damage and um, you know violence and the heartache that exists out there with people you know you had that story with that uber driver that unfortunately passed away due to a couple of kids carjacking carjacking him in broad daylight people are just recklessly losing their lives in senseless ways um the last thing you need to do is to kind of antagonize the situation to get involved in anything that's going to lead to what it's going to lead to now again we don't know the backstory it could be that the fact that the black kid was completely in the wrong but in general this level of kind of savagery is always going to occur when it comes to a fight because it just is what it is it's a violent altercation there are no rules to this thing this is not in the ring we're not in a professional environment you don't know what everyone's kind of you know um choke point is or where they kind of feel like enough is enough everyone's got their limit so to kind of prevent all of that just keep your hands to yourself keep your opinions to yourself and just keep on moving because people out there are legit crazy so here's a clip here i'm going to play um of course you know as it says here warning for violence and blood so if you don't want to see that make sure you pause or you skip forward a couple of minutes He's getting smashed bloody hell. Wow. Then he gets choked out. That's gonna hurt in the morning. That's gonna hurt in the morning. It reminds me of that um is it John Jones versus who was it against? Um was it Leota Machida where he just sort of choked him out and then as he went unconscious just let go and dropped him on the floor. That isn't gonna hurt. That is definitely gonna hurt in the morning. And look at these responses, right? Um uh some of these responses that kind of again illustrates people's naivete when it comes to these sort of situations using the n-word is wrong this person says but to say it's an excuse any type of physical violence as a response is insane that was sadistic level of violence no matter the reason guy needs to be locked up he's in danger to the public of course but these people exist this is what I'm, i mean 
I love to kind of exist and to kind of maneuver in the world as is, as opposed to the world that I would like it to be, right? Utopias, for the most part, don't exist. They only exist in sort of your own world, in your own head. Maybe you can create your own utopia to some extent. But in general, for you to expect everybody to kind of abide and to kind of um, interact with the world the way that you want them to is naive in the extreme. And also, like I said, you have no idea the amount of savagery and violence that people are capable of because you have no idea who they are so in order to kind of prevent those things from happening just don't interact with people like this if they do turn up if they do kind of decide to instigate an argument walk away make it known you want no trouble do whatever it may be to de-escalate the situation but getting yourself involved and getting yourself in these sort of situations in the first place by using those words even if people think the violence was over the top the fact that this allegedly we again we don't know what the term was what actually happened because again we've got because all these clips always annoy me because they always start from the point of violence or they start from the point of the aggressor we never actually see what actually made that person snap and everyone's got their different snap point like i mentioned prior um but to avoid it just don't maybe drop the end bomb in it just like keep your end bombs to yourself or keep them to your group chats or you know to your circle of friends just don't do it to some random dude on a train who have no idea what it's about it just doesn't it just you know it just doesn't make any sense it continues here it makes me angry how no one intervenes if i was on that train things would have gone differently no they wouldn't have though this is the thing daniel povier i'm pretty sure they wouldn't have this is another illustration of how it is in the actual real world in the real world people actually don't intervene when people are i think there's a video recently now that just got went viral of some old grandma outside of a hotel um, lobby or something and she gets assaulted and kicked in the head by a, a big dude but there's a security guard in the doorway of that hotel he doesn't come out or intervene he doesn't even alert or make it known his presence there he doesn't say anything now don't get me wrong he's employed by the hotel so maybe he shouldn't be out on the street trying to protect an old lady but you would assume there'd be some level of responsibility or you know kind of decency or humanity that you might be like hey relax man chill out and just make his presence known just so he can stop the savagery he doesn't get involved whatsoever and most people don't most people just watch most people just continue on most people just kind of pretend like it's not happening just so they don't get involved that's what most people end up doing so imagine living in a world where most people aren't going to intervene on your behalf and then and then clearly going out there trying to antagonize people start arguments um and then hoping somebody doesn't get violent with you but when they do get violent you want to then determine how violent they are and stop them from doing certain things there are no rules you're in the streets there really really are no rules it continues here you know what pisses me off how the left make such a big deal about the skin color the shooter the atlanta shootings here in the weeks since the shooting i've seen dozens of videos of asians being assaulted by blacks and all those same leftists are nowhere to be seen a very good point it was what really pisses me off is that not a single person on that train tried to help him and they did this feebly tell the guy to stop a few times just about every video i've seen assaults in big cities is just like this and this is the very 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 true so if all these people are going out there protesting about for certain things happening where there are things happening in your actual community that you you can kind of stop and you can kind of intervene in you don't get involved but then from the comfort of your own home when you're behind your keyboard you want to hashtag out things you want to bring out this fake support with people when in general in day-to-day -day lives no one does anything no one does anything so that's what i said in general people should just keep their hands and their insults to themselves because you really have no idea what people are capable of and what level of savagery that they're willing to dish out at the slightest bit of disrespect now again do i advocate do i condone do i think it's a good thing that this guy went around and beat the living daylights out of this guy and choked him unconscious of course not right this guy could be suffering from permanent brain damage right that is not um a nice thing to see but again don't involve yourself with certain people just keep yourself to yourself mind your business people don't do that enough these days they don't mind their business enough and they get involved in these altercations that are you know um avoidable to some extent and then they cry foul when they go really really bad right when the outcome doesn't turn out to their favor unfortunately you can't you know you can't predict how someone's going to react to you so the only thing you can do is how you react to the world itself in my opinion again what do i know